Hello everyone, how are you doing today? This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central. In today's video, we are out at CNG Mobile Homes in Lake City, Florida. Today we're going to be touring this uh, gorgeous, double-wide, Scott-built manufactured home by Scott Build Homes. Um, I'm not exactly sure the name of the model at this moment, but as I look up more information, I'll be sure to put in the video title and as well as throughout the video. So. With that being said, let's start the tour. All right, you guys, so this is the exterior of the home. Has a very nice curb appeal. Now, I don't know if you can see the top of the roof, but you would have a metal roof up there. Again, this is the um, exterior, so. Let's take a look around the back real quickly and then we'll go inside. All right, so this is the back of the home. Get y'all a good idea. All right, so Let's go inside and let's see what this home has to offer. So we just stepped inside. So the first thing you see right here is the living room. You have a gorgeous living room right here. Look at the, uh, one thing I noticed, the ceiling is vaulted. I've never seen that before in a double wide manufactured home. Look at that. Get y'all a slow look here. And you have a dining room right there too. Okay, so this is a living room area. Look at this living room. I lo love the entertainment center right here. Again, love the recessed lighting. All right, let's get you a look over here. Get y'all a view from another angle. All right. I really like the entertainment center though. Really love this entertainment center. And they have the uh, shiplap insert in the middle of it. And you also have the recessed lighting in the ceiling as well. All right, so over here is your dining room. You have a very nice, uh, adequate size dining room. You also have a window in the dining room as well. Again, I love the um, accent uh, wood trim and the vaulted ceiling. Got plenty of space for a buffet hutch. Okay, and they would have a ceiling fan right here, but um, if you, you know, you could always, if you don't like the ceiling fan, you can always remove that and, and you'll put your, put your chandelier up there. You know, it's really up to you. All right, so let's check out this kitchen area. Uh, this would be your kitchen. Plenty of space in your kitchen. You have your center island right there. 
I really love the uh, accent trim that they have underneath the, um, the center island cabinet. And I really love the accent blue walls that they have in here. Uh, this kitchen will have uh, great cabinetry and it will also have the stainless steel appliance package. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's take a look at a couple of drawer spaces. Okay. No, no plenty of space to prep meals, holiday meals, or whatever kind of meals that you got. And you also have plenty of prep space right here as well. You got plenty of space for uh, small kitchen appliances, you know, slow cookers, pot, coffee makers, um, air fryers, you know, whatever you got. And you have a nice window right here too. Well, sink right here. You got your nice size farmhouse uh, stainless steel sink. And you'd have your uh, three big windows right here. Lots of natural light in this kitchen. All right, let's take a look at a couple of cabinets. So this is a Scott built manufactured home. This is a Scott built. And then you have your farm style uh, cabinets right here. So I like that. You know, you can hide one cabinet and hide the other. I like that very much. Love that. And you got plenty of space for like your uh, seasonings and spices and, you know, put them right there. And I really love the blue, blue tile backsplash as well. You have your stainless steel uh, hood frame. Let's see. Get y'all a look there. There you are. It looks like a, uh, like a, like a gray beach sand, but I really like it. Very stylish. All right. Let's take a look in here real quickly. Then we'll check out the bedrooms. All right. So this is your utility room. I mean, this is your pantry. Plenty of space in this pantry. Plenty of space in this pantry. Lots of space. Get y'all one more look. All right. Let's take a look over here. Let's take a look over here at this uh, utility room, then we'll check out the bedrooms. So this is your utility room. Uh, this is your utility room. You got plenty of space for a freezer. Of course, that's your back door. You have your electric box. And you have space for your washer and dryer uh, connection. And you also have a water shutoff valve right there where your, wash, where your um, washer connections are. And behind here, you would have your water heater, which would be behind the access panel. All right, so let's go check out the bedrooms in the bathroom. So right here be your hallway. Uh, you also have your uh, central heat and air intake right there as well. Okay. So of course, this is your bathroom. We saw this, we saw, we saw a peak of it in the uh, utility room. So this would be your bathroom. Let's see, and you have your gray trim mirror. And of course your sink. They have a matching tile backsplash as well. Well, from what we saw in the kitchen and you have your gray cabinetry. And you have drawer space. Of course, you have your commode. You got plenty of space on right here. You put like a hamper or 
or additional like a small um, cabinet, you know, like a small little, you know, cabinet. Really up to you though. And you have your uh, tub and shower combination right here. And you'll also have a transom window over that area as well. And of course, this leads right back into the utility room. So, you know, if, if kids are coming in from outside, they're muddy or dirty, they can, you know, take their things off right here and they can come right into the bathroom right here. Very nice. All right, so let's go check out a couple bedrooms. All right, so this is the first bedroom. Now, one thing I noticed about this home, um, this home uh, in the living areas, it has a full sheetrock, but in the bedrooms, bedroom areas and in the bathroom as well as the, as the closets, it would have the uh, paper uh, drywalls with the uh, batten strips. And this home would have the air vents in the ceiling too, and you'll also have the recess lighting. But it's a nice size windows though, plenty of natural light. Plenty, plenty of natural light. All right, let's check out the closet. Let me turn this on so you can see. I know it's dark in here. All right, so this is your closet area. All righty. So that's your closet, you guys. Nice, adequate size closet. Nice size closet. All right, let's go check out the other bedroom. So this is your other bedroom. Lots of natural light in this room. Of course, you have your window right there. All right, let's check out the closet right here. So this is your closet space. You have your recessed lighting. And, you have, and of course, you have the uh, wood flooring as well. Now, from what I've seen so far, this house has the wood floors, wood vinyl flooring throughout, but if you want a carpet or just carpet in the bedrooms, I imagine you can do so. All right, let's go. We're going to get ready to check out the master now. But before we do, and if you are new here, I invite you to hit that subscribe button and don't forget, don't forget to hit the notification bell anytime we'll videos like this. That way you stay notified. And if you guys love this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. It definitely helps to advertise this video throughout the YouTube platform and as well as Rumble platform. All right, you guys. So with that being said, let's go check out the master bedroom. All right, so this is your master bedroom. Get y'all a second to take it all in. I'm going to get y'all a view from another angle. Get y'all a good look at it here. I really love these wood vinyl floorings. It's very nice. I love the neutral tone colored walls as well as these uh, dark tone colored floorings. So this is your master bedroom. All right, so let's go check out the master bathroom. Look at this master bathroom, you guys. Look at look at here. Look at here. Look at this. You have two cabinets on either side of your garden tub. So that's your garden tub. I actually saw this garden tub in the Live Oak Home model. 
and as well as a Palm Harbor home model. But if you want to go check out those videos, I will definitely put the links down below. And you have your nice big window right here. And I love the fact they have the rack, the uh, hooks right here where you can hang like your bath towels in your bathrobe. So let's look, look at a couple cabinets right here. There you go. Whoop. <laughs> Sorry about that. I guess they're not soft clothes, but yeah, there you go. And the other one, other one on the other side is very identical. All right, let's look over here. So this is your sink area. You have three mirrors. I like that. You got three mirrors, you guys. And I really love the wood trim around the mirrors. You have your drawer space right there. And you also have cabinet space right here. Okay. And then, of course, the, uh, the two sinks. And you have the recessed lighting over them as well. All right, let's take a look over here. This is your commode room. You have a window right there for natural light. And then there's your ceiling area, too. And of course, if you don't want to look at it, all you have to do is shut the door. Shut the door, that's simple. All right, so this is your shower. Let's take a look at the shower. This is your shower area, you guys. You have the, this real tile, this is real tiling. So, real tile, you guys, real tile. And then of course you have the bench to sit down on as well, so. Very nice shower. And I love the, uh, I love the, uh, the glass inserts around the, the black accent. All right, let's check out this area. This is your master closet. You have your built, you have a built in right there. You have your recessed lighting. As you can see, you have your wood flooring. You have your transom window above, above that shelving. You have lots of natural light in your closet. And then you have more space back here. All right, you guys. Well, let's go back into the living room and let's close out the video. Now, again, I'm not exactly sure the name of the model, but this is a Scott built manufactured home. Um, as I say before, um, when I can find out more information about it, I'll put it in the description and as well as throughout the video. Um, if you are interested about inquiring or purchasing this home, the dealership's contact information will be down in the description box. And also, if you want to look at this home in person, I will also put the dealership's address down there too. So. Let me tell you guys, it's nothing like actually being here to actually view these beautiful manufactured homes. All right, you guys, so um, it's time for us to move on to the next house. This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central, your central source for manufactured modular home tours and more. I will see you all in the next video. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful day.
reaching out for something that is so 